starting with the india climate flora fauna for class 8 icsc so this is very important chapter in your syllabus so for better understanding of this chapter please go through the video of the chapter india geographical features looking at the introduction to the climate of india so if we want to study the climate of any country we should know about the temperature rainfall atmospheric pressure and direction of the wind of that country then only we can study the climate of that country whereas if you come for the study of the climate of the india it is greatly influenced by two factors the tropic of cancer and the great himalayan range from the northwest to northeast directions so this tropic of cancer that is 23 and half degree north divides india into two parts the north part is known as the temperate zone and the south part is known as the tropical zone so why it is known as the temperate north part is known as temperate zone south part is known as tropical zone we will discuss further the great himalayan range the um, uh, if i want to draw it so the great himalayan range which is situated like this like this prevents uh, which separates this india from rest of the asian country rest of the asian country separates india from rest of the asian countries and one more important things that this himalayas do is that it prevent this cold winds these are the cold winds which will be coming from the siberia siberia that is of central asia central asia these are the cold winds which are very harmful for us this himalayas prevent from entering into the india so now we have discussed about the north south extent of india that is 8 degree north to 7 degree north and the distance is from north to south that is 3 to 14 in the previous chapter only now uh, from when we go from north to south there is very climatic change it will happen one one factor which influence which if this unifies is facts of monsoon so that's why the climate of india is known as tropical monsoon this is important what name the climate of india is called tropical monsoon type of climate one mark question now what are the factors which affects the climate of india the first is latitude or topography influence of himalayas altitude is also known as height distance from the sea western disturbances on tropical cyclones upper air current on just streams latitude and topography as i told you the tropic of cancer divides india into two parts uh, north part is known as subtropical north or you can also call it as you can also call it as temperate zone both are also same don't get confused and south part is known as the south part is known as the tropical south and why the north part is known as subtropical north so for better understanding think this is of india think this circle is of india i will draw here think this circle is of india the tropic of cancer which is 23 and half degree north divides into two parts the north part is known as the tropical uh, subtropical part subtropical north south part is known as tropical south why it is called north part is no, known as subtropical north because it is uh, it, it it has which type of climate the north part is known as it it has extreme type of climate or extreme type of climate or continental type of climate north india experiences this type of climate because it is very hot during winter and very cold during the a uh, very a uh, very um, what very cold during winter and very hot during the summer whereas south part is known as the equilibrial or tropical type of climate south india we will call it as tropical type of climate because it will be not very hot during summer it will be not very hot it will be slightly less okay it will be not very cold during winter it will be not like falling snow okay uh, during the winter in southern part in northern part it will be it is it will be very hot during summer and very cold during the winter that's why it is known as the um, extreme or continental type of climate in summer uh, in uh, southern side it has it the uh, climate is known as tropical type of climate because it will be not very hot during summer and not very cold during winter so southern peninsula experience moderate type of climate because it is enclosed by three side by river so and uh, the coastal regions experience marine type of climate influence of himalayas has i told you it prevents from bitter winds and one of, one more fact is it will not allow the monsoon winds to go out of india we will discuss it for the third is altitude as we go height the altitude as we as we go height means altitude increases the temperature decreases temperature decreases as height or altitude increases so it will decrease 1 degree celsius will decrease if we go 166 meter height okay that's why nainital is cooler compared to agra because nainital is situated at whereas agra is situated low as result nainital experience cold because 
temperature is decreasing because the heat is increasing press agra experience warm because agra temperature uh, the heat is less distance from the sea so the places which are situated interior experience extreme or continental type of climate whereas places which are situated to the uh, sea experience moderate type of climate so think this of india so places which are situated near in uh, inside the india experience which type of climate the extreme or continental type of climate so places which are situated away from india away uh, away means which are situated near the sea these are the sea right situated near the sea experience the uh, uh, equable or uh, marine type of climate because they have water all said if there is water it will be good whereas whereas places which are situated interior no water is there that's why it will be warm extreme type of climate so mumbai situated at the coast experience equilibrial type of climate whereas lucknow experience extreme type of climate the best example would be delhi right delhi which is situated in the away from the sea and all will experience extreme means during summer it will be very hot during winter it will be very cold if you go for karnataka kerala and all during summer also it will be very nice not very hot it will be very nice so western disturbances these western disturbances originate in the mediterranean sea and give heavy rainfall to northwest side of india during winter during winter and these are responsible for snowfall in himalayas and tropical cyclones are caused by these and this causes heavy loss of life and property upper air current and just streams affects the onset on departure of monsoon see climate of contrast so places which are uh, places which are not of tropic of cancer experience continental type of climate i have explained what is continental type of climate or extreme type of climate which is very hot during summer very cold during winter the best example is very hot during summer and very cold is winter that is of continental type of climate the northern part of tropic of cancer experience these type of climate i have explained it north side trop side north side experience extreme type of or continental type Uh, what do you mean by this very hot during summer very hot during the uh, very cold during winter the best um, uh, example is given 55 uh, 55 degrees celsius in rajasthan and uh, kargil minus 40 very cold during winter and very hot during summer so whereas if you come for southern part if you come for the southern part um, uh, it experience equilibrial or marine type of climate it will be very not very hot during summer or not very cold also it will be very good southern part because it is situated close to the sea so annual rainfall varies from 1187 cm at mausimram and 27 cm at rajasthan rainfall variation highest rainfall is mausimram you should write the centimeter also so himalayas experience heavy snowfall during the winter because and um, whereas southern part even if there is snow even it is winter it will not experience uh, snowfall change of season in india monsoon season the word monsoon is derived from the arabic mon- arabic arabic word mausim meaning season so these winds reverse the direction seasonally winds these are changing winds and they are very there are two types of monsoon winds southwest monsoon winds and northeast monsoon winds southwest monsoon winds blows like this from southwest direction to northeast direction for 6 months it will blow you need to remember that and northeast direction northern monsoon winds blows from northeast to southwest like this for 6 months totally 12 months per year there is two monsoon winds on the basis of these monsoon winds only the 12 year 12 months is divided into four seasons hot dry season rainy season season of retreating southwest monsoon winds the cold season is also known as season of northeast monsoon winds that uh, months are important march to may the rainy season june to september season of retreating uh, southwest monsoon winds october to november cold season december to february is also known as season of northeast monsoon winds the hot dry season so imagine that is of this is of india this is of tropic of cancer during summer solastic solastic the sun will be shining directly over this tropic of cancer that's of 23 and half degree north so if sunshine is direct over tropic of cancer if this is heated the pressure will be low and surrounding area that is of water area will be less heated as a result pressure will be high the wind blows from high pressure area to the low pressure area wind blows like this so this is of southwest this is of northeast 
this wind blows from southwest to northeast that's why these winds are known as southwest monsoon winds i hope you know the origin so in summer when the sunshine is direct over tropic of cancer it land will get heated and get and create low pressure and uh, water bodies will get less heated and cre creates high pressure as a result the wind blows from water body to the land body that is from southwest to northeast that's why it is known as southwest monsoon winds local winds during hot season kali baisakhi loo mangrove showers are the three local winds kali baisakhi originate in west uh, west bengal or assam loo which are dusty winds it's also known as so, so sandstorm originate in may june in northern plains mangrove showers it south india it's important because uh, it originate in april may it brings little rainfall and it is important for mango and tea crops important point in it is known as mango shower why because it is important for growing mango mango and tea crops characteristic features the season is marked by uh, as you know hot season dry weather conditions and sunshine is direct or tropic of cancer and the range of temperature is very high and uh, it experience it is helpful for growing um tea and all because then this hot season we will get the mango shower that's why hot season is helpful for growing the tea and all any season of southwest monsoon winds that is from june to september as i explained about southwest monsoon winds which blows from southwest to northeast direction so this southwest monsoon winds gives the rainfall by picking up the moisture from the arabian sea so this moisture uh, this rain first it's the kerala first it's the kerala that is malabar coast origin of monsoon monsoon is just the land and sea breeze in the large scale this is the definition the large uh, the land and sea breeze in the large scale is known as monsoon so we have explained how southwest monsoon winds are formed when there is high temperature here that's why low pressure will develop because sun will be direct on the tropic of cancer that's result high temperature will be there on land and low pressure will be there so in ocean body there is no sun as a result temperature will be low and pressure will be high as a result wind blows like this from southwest to northeast direction i it is termed as southwest monsoon winds so this is of origin which they have written here there and southwest monsoon winds has two branches southwest monsoon winds has two branches one is known as arabian branches another one which goes like this which goes like this and goes like this is known as bay of bengal branch arabian branch which goes like this and bay of bengal branch which goes like this so this arabian branch first it's the kerala on 1st june so the arabian branch first it's the kerala in 1st june which gives heavy rainfall to the kerala this arabian branch and this gives the rainfall to the kerala this type of rainfall is known as oreocropic or relief type of rainfall it will give when arabian branch of the monsoon winds falls on the kerala after hitting to kerala it goes to northern side like this but due to himalayas it will not go further while it was go it will be going uh, the kerala's uh, rainfall decrease because the monsoon will wind will go further so why the arabian branch is not giving rainfall to the thar desert arabian branch is going like this but why it is not giving to thar desert in thar desert or rajasthan we have this particular aravalli range this aravalli range will not allow the uh, monsoon winds which are coming like this the especially the arabian sea branch to enter into the thar desert that's the reason there will be rain rainfall in this thar desert one more the temperature is high as temperature is high even though some moist uh, um, what monsoon winds comes it will evaporate that only they have written if southwest monsoon winds uh, will not enter because of aravalli because aravalli act as obstructions and because of high temperature uh, it will not go now the bay of bengal branch one branch i have explained which goes like this southwest monsoon winds has two branch one branch which goes like this is known as arabian branch and the branch which goes like this is known as the 
bay of bengal branch which passes the bay of bengal picks moisture from the bay of bengal and it gives heavy rainfall to these regions that is garo kashi jainta hills and it gives very rainfall to where one more question that is of meghalaya chirapunji it gives heavy rainfall to mosimram in chirapunji it mosimram is located in the meghalaya this how which type of rainfall it will give relief type of mount uh, rainfall in kashi rain shadow area of kashi hills get little rainfall by this bay of bengal branch whereas kashi garo jayanti hills gets more rainfall remaining after eating this it will go out for himalayas and it will uh, shed their moisture there only it will not go further to china tibet and all.